Hey guys, it's Mac here from Cryptstar Staking, and today I want to show you guys some of the amazing Tezos gaming platforms out there right now. As you all know, crypto gaming is a very, very popular thing right now. You see Axie, and, and you see how crazy the, the prices have gone, and some of these games, they're, they're free to play, but some of them cost have a really high barrier to entry. Now, the three projects today I want to talk about, one is the Tezotopia. I've covered this in a previous, previous video. And Tezotopia, it's, it just released its mar marketplace. There's going to be uh, airdrops coming out soon of Uno. And pretty soon you'll be able to build your own Tezotops and start farming your NFTs to earn uh, rewards on these uh, Tezotops that you're making. Now, there's another project that has hit the DAP radar right now. Um, it's one of the top uh, Tezos projects on DAP radar. It's extremely popular. It's called Pixel Potus. Now, uh, Pixel Potus it's basically collecting presidents and burning presidents to make more rare presidents. It's kind of a uh, US Patriot kind of game. Uh, I wasn't extremely excited about it. However, the mechanics of the game are extremely addicting. So user beware, this game is addicting. Now, I, I got on this one day earlier this week uh, after work. It was like 7.30 p.m. and I stayed up till 1 a.m. playing this game. It's ridiculous. Uh, some other games that are coming out and they're in still production. You can see them here on the list. You can see Tezotopia down here. Uh, Tezotopia Marketplace is very popular. Uh, there, there is a lot of active users as well. Okay. And let me see. Let me see if there's any other games on the DAP radar here. It looks like the other games that I'm going to be mentioning are not yet registered on DAP radar. So it's a good chance to get in and start wielding on these NFT games. Now, the really nice part about Pixel Potus is there's a very low barrier to entry. Every day you can log in and you can get a free a free president, common president. And you, if you have a lot of time, you can create many wallets and then go ahead and uh, look at presidents that way and uh, combine them and burn them and make new presidents. And then if you get the, the ultimate uh, unique president, you can get uh, part of the uh, bankroll, which is like 800 Tezos. Uh, and I'll go ahead and walk you through that process. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's move over to Tezotopia, and then I'm going to walk you through how this is going to work. There's a lot more documentation out now, so we're going to head over to the game guide here. Now, what is Tezotopia? So it's an NFT game built on Tezos. You can explore the planet Tezotopia. All right, uh, began on May 4th, and there's a lot of Tezotops for sale. These what makes these blocks so valuable? These Tezotops are full of resources. Now you can learn about these resources by clicking on this resources and land. Uh, the most rare resources, the tokenized resources, uh, are minerals, energy, and machinery, and Uno, of course. And you can basically, each Tezotopia has a multiplier, each Tezotop has a multiplier, and those multipliers earn you these resources which can be used to build uh, things on top of your land. Now, Unobtainium, uh, that's the most rare resource. There's only three, uh, 333, 333, 333,333 Uno available and each each block naturally produces an obtainium and the Genesis block and other blocks actually uh, produce an obtainium at a much higher rate however it goes a lot slower now early unobtainium distribution goes as will go as follows so Last week they had their, uh, or when that first launched, there was uh, collectibles. So if you got these collectibles, you're going to get an airdrop of six unobtainium. Uh, that comes at the end of this month. Now, 33 of unobtainium holding the single edition unobtainium collectible. Uh, whoever owns this collectible will get 33 and 15 for the first 100 Tezotops sold. So the first have been sold and the snapshot has been taken. So there's no way to earn this. And also the three unobtainium per mercenary. This, uh, this has already taken place earlier this month, and that was on the marketplace. Uh, if, you got, if you got a mercenary on the marketplace, you could have gotten three unobtainium, so you can sell them, or it takes 0.5 unobtainium to burn, to burn and make a test top. Now let's go and head over to the land and resource guide. As, you can, as I said before, there are three resources, minerals, energy, and unobtainium. Uh, minerals are produced at a rate of 0.5 per hour. Okay, so it's a lot easier to get minerals and energy. Uh, energy is a little bit makes a little bit more per hour, 0.75 per hour on a normal test top. Okay. 
So you can create mines and different types of materials to go ahead and uh, increase the rate. Uh, machinery. Minerals and energy are used to produce machinery. When it says the top is claimed, it begins with one building a star base. The star base uses a 0.25 energy and 0.25 minerals to produce 0.25 machinery per hour. Okay, machinery you can use to create buildings. And you can create units from those buildings. And here there's uh, details on the building and unit requirements. Okay, so this is here you can see the resource multiplier and the resource icon here. Uh, this tells you the multiplier. Each Tesla top by itself actually has a, a 1x uno, uno multiplier. So you do make some Uno just from any Tesla top. Okay. And the resource multiplier, the mineral 3, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's going to be more guides coming soon. Uh, unit and battle guide, let's go there. So air support, uh, basically air support will support the land units in battle. Um, I'm guessing this means the air support does not have an HP modifier. They just do damage from the air. I'm guessing artillery is very similar. It's very cheap, much cheaper to building a defense shield or anything like that to defend against uh, air forces. Okay, so you can bring a maximum of five artillery units to battle. Artillery units incur damage from land, air, and other artillery units during the battle. Oh, these look really cool. And as you can see, there's a hit point modifier, speed, attack, and defense, and experience points. These experience points. I'm not sure if you get more experience points as you get better at battle or if this is just a modifier that you get in the beginning. I'm guessing more information will be done or will be uh, shown on this in the future. I'll take you to the marketplace and kind of show you uh, what things, what these, uh, what these look like. So we can go there right now. Let's go to the marketplace. So as you can see here, there's units and you can see all the units. Okay. So there is a Katoshi, Katoshi, Katoshi. There's a very rare one, one, uh, once in uh, lifetime deal uh, these have really high experience modifiers and you can see the defense and attack isn't great accuracy is pretty good okay uh, sentinel corsair these have a recently good uh, experience modifier and they have much better attack than the katoshi and as you go down you can see better more uh, uh, units with better attack and here you can see the experience is very low um, but they're heavy units, so they have a reasonable amount of attack, and they aren't too expensive. And the Wraith Lord, this, I, in my opinion, this looks like one of the better, uh, one of the better, I, one of the better units. They have a lot of attack, and they're Wave One. So Wave One, uh, waves. Is waves explained in here? Uh, let me see. Let me see. I don't see anything about waves in here. I believe it means who goes first in battle. Okay. So I'm guessing there's going to be more information, more more, uh, more information coming on that in the future. Okay, light sentries, accuracy, experience, HP, waves. Okay, and all this has been developed with smart contracts. So there's not going to be any like real server running in the background. It's going to be all run with algorithms, and on the Tezos blockchain. So in a, in a few months, this is going to really clog up the Tezos blockchain. It's going to be awesome. Okay, there's a Tezotopian War. These were just released. They did a secret. Uh, release on the marketplace. Uh, I didn't manage to get one. Mr. Biggie got one, however. Okay, and these have good attack. They're wave two, so they probably attack second. I'm guessing. Oh, just like I got a sneeze. Mm. Oh, beautiful. All right. Um, and then you can go ahead and see the map explorer. You can see all the cool desktops that have been created. It's very creative. Um, very creative artwork, I think. And over here, you can kind of pop them out if you want to see one in particular. It tells you its modifier and everything. Okay, this is uh, this is a uh, number two. Whoa. This is number two. You can see that. Oops. Okay. Then you can click on it, and then it shows you the Tesla Top 03. So my friends has this one. Okay. And collectibles and artifacts. Now these artifacts, I'm guessing they can only be put on Tesla tops that have uh, that have been created. Uh, these are current Tesla tops, they all have items on them, so I'm not sure if you can put these uh, these these artifacts on top of them. But these are modifiers that can be put on a Tesla top. So, anyways, there's one more thing I want to cover in this video. You can read through all this yourself. I'll leave a link in the description. There is um, the main point of this uh, whole attack. 
this uh, battle uh, this battling is to earn the spoils of the victor okay so it says at the end of the battle whether due to surrender or decommissioned units the victor will receive a loot box it can be claimed in the Tezatopia marketplace once claimed the items from the loot box will be added to your wallet the winner will also receive plus 20 experience per unit okay so units do get gain experience over time the loser will receive plus five experience per unit in battle even if decommissioned both sides of the battle will have to repair their units to restore their HP to 100% after the battle. Um, I'm not sure how this, this restoration will have happen. Maybe it takes a, time, a certain amount of time. Maybe uh, you have to pay some sort of machinery to repair the units uh, or energy or something like that. I'm sure more will be released in the future. Information. Uh, more information. Loot boxes are randomized. But they can include Uno. So you can, if you win the loot box and it's a big loot box, you get Uno, Tezos, units. Battle tactics, rare collectibles, and artifacts used to decorate your tabletops. Okay, so I'm very, very, very bullish on this game. Uh, I've been part of the Telegram group for a while, and if you want to join, uh, you can go ahead and join the Telegram group uh, straight from here. Okay, you can visit the Dark Games. Okay, and you can see their team right here from Gift Dark Game. They have uh, they have five member team right now. Uh, you have Joab, he's the creative director, Ansheet, lead develop, uh, developer and co-founder, uh, full stack dev and co-founder, uh, full stack developer, and back end developer. And as you can see, this the, there's a little telegram group icon down here, and I'll leave this link in the description as well. Okay, so that's it for Tez Tops. Uh, as you can see, there's many cool things to purchase on here. Um, I will be doing a uh, Uno giveaway uh, in a future video, so please, uh, if you want to Stay uh, subscribed and hit the notifications bell. You'll uh, automatically uh, know when I will do this uh, release. Now let's move on to the next uh, Tesla Top game, and that is Pixel Potus. Uh, Pixel Potus, I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, video and possibly an interview with the uh, founders. And we're going to also do a giveaway. So you can get uh, six cards of your own, get a little uh, Tezos in the future, and then you can... Uh, Go ahead and redeem that Tezos here for your cards, okay? So let's go ahead and go to the little about section in Pixel Potus. You can see the URL here, all right? Um, Pixel Potus is a digital collectible competition, okay? So it's a game. Uh, there are 50, 45 presidents with six different rarities for each each. For each, with each custom artwork for each president at each level. Keep reading or see our medium article for a deeper dive, okay? So, if you want to learn more go ahead and go to this medium article i'll kind of explain it to you uh in layman's terms during uh this video so uh looks like they said they are minting and giving away 10,000 copies of the common level tokens for free to anyone who comes to claim on the website each higher rarity uh, level can only be created by collecting and then burning two multiples of the lower rarities for instance you need two common george washington's in order to upgrade and create one uncommon so uh, someone has already uh, made this unique George Washington. However, there are still are a bunch of other presidents, 40, 45, 50 other presidents that can, uh, it's 49 presidents, I think, we can uh, do here. So two to become uh, uncommon, and two uncommon to burn, to become a rare, and two rares to become an epic, and five epics, a legendary, and then 20 legendary to become a unique. Now, when you win this unique, you get a bonus uh, payout from the treasury. And uh, there's only one unique POTUS uh, for this whole uh, game. Okay, so this is a this is basically a competition, a race to the top to see who can get the unique POTUSes. Uh, I would also say that these legendary these legendary POTUSes might be worth something. There's only a certain amount that can be minted. Okay. And they have, a, they have their development team here. Uh, they're very also very transparent about their development team. Uh, Tezotopia as well. And they have a little video here, a uh, YouTube video. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the, in the at the end of the video if you want to check it out. Actually, you can go ahead and check out the link. I'll put it up here. You can watch this video yourself. And uh, if you're going to connect to this, I recommend using Kukai Wallet right now. Okay, uh, there's, a, there's a separate videos on... Uh, YouTube for the Kukai wallet. Just check that out. Uh, it's very useful. Okay, so every day you can come here. I already claimed mine for today, but there's a little claim button. You can click on it. It does a one minute verification. Then you can claim your free uh, your free NFT. And every day if you do that, you can, if you get two of the same NFT, you can burn them to create an uncommon and you can sell them in the marketplace. 
Now let's go ahead and move over to the marketplace here. Oh, by the way, I am Mr. Plutus, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> I did not create this game. I just took the name. You can uh, you can name yourself. Um, I think in the stats, I believe there's a there's an option to name yourself in this section. Okay. Um, You can look at the marketplace uh, here if you want to go ahead and search for your favorite president like for example I'll search for Abraham and you can see all the different deals for Abraham Lincoln okay uh, you can also offer up trades this is a really amazing system uh, you can select which POTUS say I want to sell my Arthur and right now I personally am collecting Millard so I will trade for Millard and then I can also give them the option to purchase for 0.5 Tezos if I want so I can hit uh, add to batch or offer trade. If you hit add to batch, you can do multiple of these. And then uh, I believe the maximum I had without getting an error was about 20. So you can go ahead and keep adding to the batches. And then uh, basically people will automatically buy and trade for your um, for your listed POTUSes, which means you can, you can earn residual income just by posting all of your uh, trades. So I think yesterday, uh, well actually I could check the stats page I think. Uh, I could check the leaderboard, um, and you could say top barterers, right, or capitalist chip. So my rank is 192, right? So I think I can go. Oh, you can edit your name right here. So this is where you edit your name. And if I'm Mr. Potus, I don't know how to do this fast. So go to 192. Please take Mr. Potus. That's me. Why am I gold? Oh, because I changed my name. So as you can see here, I have earned 8.1 Tez. Okay. And I have made 96 barters. Okay. And I have done 262 trades. And my collection size is here, 166. Okay. So um, you can see this this this, <laughs> this competition is very well thought out. Uh, the mechanics are really really nice. And it's really, really addicting. So I would recommend not getting into this if you want to have any free time in your life. Because right after I make this video, I'm going straight back into this. Now let's go ahead and go on to another video. Uh, that would be... Sorry, another game. That would be Bunny Nights. Boom. Bunny Nights. Now Bunny Nights, I honestly, I don't know who the team is. Um, I did not see... I did not see any team members for this. It looks pretty popular, but it is not registered on the DAP radar yet. Uh, it's a bit difficult. Um, there's no actual game right now, okay? Um, it looks like there's one, this one actually is pretty good. Uh, 250 Tezos. Uh, if you wanna buy here, you can. It's 250 Tezos. Um, but if you go to the Discord, there is ways to get them much cheaper. So go to the Discord chat, and then um, you can join there and then they have random auctions and events on Twitter and you, it's it's probably a better way to get or cheaper to get them there but you can get them on the secondary market if you want to just ape in and uh, get yourself a bunny I don't know I don't think this was taken from Ethereum I think it's very uh, I think it's unique um, they do have really interesting rules however it's not really Tezos based it's bunny nights so it's, it's it might might have just been a copy from Ethereum or from uh, Binance I'm not sure but it's much cheaper to do it on Tezos uh, for gas fees. So, anyways, they have a lot of uh, mechanics here. However, it looks like basically uh, you want to go ahead and buy um, buy these uh, these NFTs and trade them. And by trading them, it looks like you get carrots. I don't know what what you can, what you can do with carrots. I don't know why you want carrots. It doesn't really say, but. Looks like you get badges. Okay, so you get badges. Um, yeah, you get badges. You get. I don't know where the badges go. I think these get put on. These get put on your. Um, get put on your your bunny. So if you go to the bunnies, the bunny list, and then you go to for sale, yes. You go to rarity special gallop so the special ones get like this little little badge here and then you go to here 
and I think that's what the badges are for. So the star catcher. So looks like there's an infinity supp infinite supply of uh, these, these star catchers now. Okay, and there's a pack. So the normal price of the Tesla's bunnies are, are 10 Tesla's. Um, some of them are reselling 450 to 2,000, 3,000 Tesla's. So you can check that out. Great, yeah. Uh, I do like this game. Uh, it's still under development. Um, it's, I like the NFTs. I'm not sure how the battling system is going to go. Um, so it looks like, are you developing a game? And the answer is yes. Something is being cooked here for a future project. We'll officially announce this at the right time. Right now we are moving some pieces and preparing the field. So it's kind of like get in early and support the project. The problem is I don't see any team members on here, so it's, mm, I mean, it should be fine, but uh, this isn't my most recommended game. However, if you want to try it out, give it a whammy. Give it a whammy. All right, Dream Car Racing. So, Dream Car Racing. This is a, an old school Tezos project. It's been going in the making for a long time. Um, this team member is very uh, well known in the Tezos community uh go they have their own token it's known as fuckboy <laughs> um i'm not i'm not sure why they named it fuckboy but anyways there's a token called uh yeah and you can go ahead and purchase the token and i believe it's going to be used as gas so this website is a little bit janky um if you want to go ahead and get your own free airdrop you can put in your tosis address and he will send you a small uh nft uh, while they slowly build this in the background. I believe the developer, there's a one guy in behind it right now and he's trying to hire more for the team. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and join the Telegram group, uh, you can find that, uh, I'll leave the link in the description as well. Uh, this is going to be a racing project, okay? So it's an NFT racing card game. So you purchase a, a, a card that can race against other opponents and you have Three tier upgrade system, okay, so you can upgrade your cars. Um, DCR tracks, there'll be tracks that have their own stats, and the track stats will be pitted against the racers. So you wanna basically choose the right car for the right track. Uh, tune up, after each race, you can receive a tune up NFT so you can fix up your, your car and upgrade your car. Okay. This is an active development. Um, they have some pretty cool NFTs, you can see here. Uh, you can buy these NFTs. On, and they're re they're reasonably priced. They're like five tes each. It's not too bad. Fifteen bucks or so. You need a super. Okay, but these are not too too ridiculously priced. Um, there does it seems like there is quite a few of these. There's a hundred editions. Okay. Oh yeah, and sorry, the bunny knights as well. You can purchase those. Um, I wanted to show you exactly how you can uh, purchase these on the secondary market. Um, so I'll go ahead and move on from the dream car racing because it's still in development. Um, if you want to throw a few Tez at it, uh, I think it's worth it. Um, and the team is very active and very communicative. So um, give it a try. And if you like cars and racing, this is probably your game for you. This website here is a kind of the backdoor, nftbiker.xyz. Basically, it's to search hen for artists and what's for sale. So you, this is the official TZ1 address that owns the smart contract for all of these Bunny Knight NFTs. So you can basically search the history, the sale history of these NFTs on uh, Hen, and Hen is the NFT platform, uh, uh, the go-to platform for Tezos. As you can see on the search apps, it is at the top here. All right, so that's it for my uh, introduction to the crypto game, DeFi games on Tezos. I hope you liked the video. Again, if you liked this video, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell at the bottom if you wanna hear more about Tezos projects. And you guys have a great weekend. Signing out from Tokyo. Later, guys.